regression questions we shall do now regression questions most important for sat2 if you are aiming for 800 compulsory you need to practice these questions and these are simple you just need to do you need to know how to use calculator for solving these questions you can use either scientific or graphic calculator to solve regression questions let me give you sample questions you can practice using your calculator if you are not sure how to find them you can get back to me so that i can explain them to you so the question is which of the following equation best models the given data which of the following which of the following equation best models the data which of the following equation best models the data so and the given data is this is x this is y so 9.8 negative 0 0.9 5.2 8 .8. So 0 0.8 5.2 8.8 so 0.12 2.43 18.46 68.4 and the options given are option a is y is equal to negative 3.3 into 1.4 to the power of x option b is y is equal to 1.4 negative 1.4 into 3.3 to the power of x option c is y is 1.4 into 3.3 to the power of x and option d is y is equal to 3.3 into 1.4 to the power of x option e is y is equal to 1.4 into x to the power of 3.3 so please do using your calculator and if you get answer as d d should be your answer so the next question as i said they can give lengthy word problem or whatever it is finally they will ask you which of the following is the regression analysis exponential regression or quadratic regression they might give you the explicitly mention the which type of regression you have three types of regression in the question and you need to practice them one is linear regression means ax plus b form you have quadratic regression means ax square plus bx plus c form and you have ax square plus bx plus plus c form or you have exponential regression which is a into b power x you have either of these three forms which you need to do practice now next question is so if you, they give question like this lengthy word problem as i said the table shows the values of collectible coins after given number of years if it follows exponential regression at what year is the value of coins will be over two hundred dollars so they give some data they say that it follows an exponential regression and they are saying that so the x is years and the y is value of the coins collected after first year the value of the coins collected is 114.4 after second year the value of the coins collected is 118.98 after third year it is 123.74 after fourth year it is 128.68 after sixth year the data is 139.19 and they say that the given data follows the regress exponential regression now the question is at what year the value of coins will be over 200 dollars so first using your scientific calculator or graphic calculator you need to find the regression analysis so if you do that you should get function your regression analysis as value that is y is equal to value y is equal to 108.57 into 1.046 to the power of x so 1.108.57 into 1.04 to the power of x now they are asking uh, at what year the value will be over 200 so now replace y with 200 200 is equal to 108.57 into 1.046 to the power of x and solve for x you should get the value of x as 16 next question is so they're giving a data they give lengthy word problem let me read it out first let me write that table This is the x is the file size in megabytes 
and the y is download time download time in seconds so this is 1234567 this is 2.9 6 5 12.3 20.3 30.5 42.9 99% in the exam they say which type of regression is this even if you don't say you can grab the points and see either they are following following linear or quadratic or exponential you can grab them and see what type what is the line of the best fit in your calculators but 100% 99% you will get in the exam or even from the options you can make it out they'll ask which of the following is the regression that best suits the given data so here the question is so the table shows the download time in seconds required to download a particular size of the data find a quadratic function quadratic regression that provides a reasonable fit to the data and we need to predict the time that is required to download 10 mb file so input this in your calculator and find the regression quadratic regression you get quadratic regression as f of x is equal to 1.1 x square plus 0.3 x plus 1.5 and now the question is what is the time required for in seconds what is the time required in seconds for the file that is 10 mb means when x is equal to 10 i need to find what is my y value so 1.110 square plus 0.3 into 10 plus 1.5 you get that as 114.5 seconds okay please do practice this seriously then this is the most important sometimes students says that they got no questions sometimes they say that one question sometimes sometimes they say that they got two questions on an average 99% i see the students saying me that they got on an average one question rarely students says that they got three questions so you can expect one or two questions and it is very easy you just need to know how to use calculator just practice them all the best